The Creator commanded the children of Israel to uphold the laws of Passover forever and all their generations. For on this day I brought your multitudes out of the land of Egypt. Therefore you shall keep this day and all your generations as an everlasting law. Exodus chapter 12 verse 17. And so the Christian Bible teaches that Jesus was careful to keep the Passover and told his disciples to do the same. Matthew chapter 26 verse 17 through 18. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to a certain man and say to him, The teacher says, My appointed time is near. I must keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. But Christianity generally believes that the laws of Passover have been nullified in the face of Jesus' sacrificial death. This belief is problematic because God already commanded the laws of Passover as an everlasting law. And it is stated in Numbers chapter 23 verse 19, God is not a man that he should lie, nor a mortal that he should change his mind. In fact, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, we find that Jesus himself tells his followers not to think that he came to nullify the law of Moses. Unless they think that his fulfilling the law of Moses means that he has abolished the laws. Therefore, he says in verse 19, Anyone who nullifies even the least of these commandments shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Fulfilling and nullifying are terms commonly used among Jews in reference to doing the laws as opposed to violating the laws. Fulfilling in such a context means to actualize, to make the law reality. If Jesus intended that the Passover laws should no longer be kept, then it's strange that the New Testament calls such a teaching a false testimony. Acts chapter 6 verse 13 through 14 states, They put forward a false testimony those who said, This man constantly speaks against the holy place, the temple, and against the law of Moses. For we have heard him say that this Nazarene, Jesus, will abolish his place and alter the customs which Moses handed down to us. So the Christian Bible actually teaches that Jesus would not alter the customs of Moses, which he had handed down to the people of Israel. And obviously this includes Passover. Haksameah. Happy Passover.